Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups Fans of Serif Software and Affinity Designer and Photo Group Now this is only a very basic look at noise reduction I'm not going to go into too much detail about either way of doing this but I just want to have a quick comparison of how Affinity Photo handles noise reduction and how a plugin that goes into Affinity Photo handles noise reduction and that the plugin I'm going to use is part of Google's Nix collection and is called um, Define you just double check that Nix collection yeah Define 2 um, now obviously nearly all photographs you take have a certain amount of noise in them and when you take a picture and save on your camera as a JPEG the camera does a certain amount of noise reduction for you but if you're taking pictures with very high ISOs which is invariably in like indoor shots and when you're not using a flash and things like that and it's quite common in concert pictures which is why I've selected this one to work with and I got this one from pixabay.com and if you come down here it tells you that they use an ISO of 3200 which is why you know, there's quite a lot of noise um, but to a certain extent especially with concert pictures I mean the noise is almost part of the actual feel of the image so it is quite a good effect in a concert picture but just in case you wanted to reduce the noise levels I just wanted to have a quick look at this now the Google's Nix collection you can download this from google.com forward slash Nix collection and it's a, a collection of quite a few different plugins Define being one of them. I have made videos on some of these other ones before, um, so I thought I'd have a look at Define. And if I click on more details here, it just get, um, sort of improve your images with noise reduction tailored to your camera. Now, I've not actually looked at the aspect of tailoring it to a particular camera but there are a couple of video tutorials here if you want to know more about tweaking Define to suit your needs but I'm just going to really look at the basic settings for it and see how it compares with Affinity Photo so going back to Affinity Photo in this image what I've done is I've made two sort of copies of this image and I've roughly zoom them in to the same place on the picture so I will be using noise reduction on this using the program and then on this one using the Nix collection Define so let's start with the program itself and you come up to filters down to noise and then you got denoise and this brings up this dialog box here where as you can see already it's done a pretty good job of taking the noise away especially around this area here if I just quickly pop over to this other image you can see there was quite a lot of noise here and now that has taken most of that away and cleaned it up you're never going to get rid of all of it and to a certain extent you don't want to get rid of all of it because this is if you do that you start to lose details like in his hands and things like that so you can sort of tweak these settings however you want them if you want to bring back a little bit more noise you can lower the settings but I'm going to leave it just like that and then I'm going to come to this other version of the picture 
and I'm going to come to filters, plugins, next collection, define two. You just have to wait for define to open up and assess the image that you're working with. And it sort of, as you can see here, it sort of picked three points within the image to sort of gauge where the noise and what have you, and it will work out the best settings it thinks for that particular those particular settings. And, and as I move the cursor around down in this box here, you can see what it would look like as it current on the current settings. This side is without any noise, and this side is what it looks like with the noise. Um, so hopefully you can see that there in this image how much noise that has taken away. But if you go to the reduce button here and just click on that, you have the contrast noise and color noise. Um, I would imagine that most of the noise in this picture is probably color noise. So I'm going to move this up to let's go 120 percent, and I'm just going to move that round about this area here. And as you can see, that is greatly reduced a lot of the noise. So let me just bump up the contrast noise as well. Just I'll go again. I'll go to 120 percent. It's Obviously, each picture will depend on uh, the settings you need. Will depend on what, how much noise you want to remove. So, again, that before and after image down in the bottom right. If you look on the hand there. Hopefully, you can see that on the right hand of that line, there is it's a lot smoother image then on the left hand side so once you're happy with it i'm not going to go into the other settings because i haven't really looked into that myself yet but so i'll just click ok and then you just have to wait for the noise to do its thing now when i did when i only had one picture opened it sort of took the picture away and then brought it back but I'm assuming it has done its thing and if I click now this is the program's denoise option which looks nice it's quite smooth and this is Nits Collection's denoise version there is still quite a bit of noise in here maybe I could have reduced that noise a lot more or if I had been able to set it for my particular camera it may have been a better choice and if we go to the original one and I zoom this up to 100% which is where the others are and I put this in roughly the same place which is about there I think so that is the original that hasn't had any noise reduction that is a noise reduction with the program which to me so far looks the best and this is with Nits Collection the Noise uh, Define plugin which is not quite as good on the settings I've used anyway as the programs the noise option so unless you sort of look into Define's extra settings by watching those videos and probably selecting it for your particular camera I would say that Affinity Photo's own denoise uh, option from the filters menu is probably the best option for reducing the noise um, this is not, like I said, it's not a definitive test it's just a very quick one I've just thrown together um, but it does look to me as though the program works better than the plugin in this particular case. Thank you for watching and goodbye.